Hello everybody, I'm Marco D'Ambros. I just realized a tutorial about how to change dynamically a weight map of the former Maya with Bifrost and uh, I'm using a blend shape as an example and in the, in the tutorial I'll show you how to interact like with a, with a transform so I'm using a locator but with a transform uh, as a distance and so like a sphere um, and uh, as a plane like this, uh, this example is a plane so you know like we can see this sort of like we can activate deactivate the blend shape this is a blend shape with a plane or if you want we can switch as sphere and this is gonna work with a radius distance system um in the in the example in the tutorial um i did like two different network one for the radius and one for the for the for the plan and in the tutorial i approach in two different ways uh, so this one is based on let's say vector and adopt product instead the, by radius i work with the matrices and the length uh just as a small clarification both network can be absolutely the same until the dot or the length instead to do like a multi matrix or the subtraction between the position point the reason why i made the two different uh, graphs for the two different approach is just to show you different ways to do the same things but i forgot to mention this one on the tutorial so sorry for that and i decided to do this very uh, this this video to show you the same approach in in both and the pro and cons so this one is our base uh, situation where we have our blend shape uh, is already connect with Bifrost so uh, we have our Bifrost graphs then as the ref mesh as an input and output already connect to the proper uh, weight, um, weight map in the, inside the blend shape and we can have here the turn off actually let's create a clamp because I always like to have the clamp value 0 to 1 um, so now we have our default value 0 to 1 um, so let's let's work with let's uh, see the both approaches and um, see how to implement it uh, with a both ways so let's create a locator or any transform I use the locator just because it's easy to visualize so let's start with the um, with the with the subtraction system like the vector if if I may uh, so we need to have um, matrix SRT because we want to get the transform from our matrix, uh, our transform, we want to have the translation translation from our transform. So let's get the locator, what matrix, and connect to. Sorry, <laughs> I select the blend shape. Uh, so let's get our word matrix and connect to our word matrix and connect to our transform okay so we now we have the position of our um, our transform what we want to do we want to create every vector that going from um, the point put the point of our mesh to our origin so we have the get by position here the only thing we need to do is create a subtraction a subtract uh, from point position to our transform so what we want to do now we want to get our vector the the, the vector of references um, the ax let's say the axis that we want to check um, so for example let's connect here now we have here every row we can every row represent an axis aim up and right um, so we want to transform from vector 4 to vector 3 here we go and now we can do a dot product between our axis and our vector position relative to uh, our transform so now we have a clamp we can just literally substitute the clamp and you can see this now works our intended it's good right um actually something that i didn't show you like if you want to activate on y instead on x for example let's you just connect the second row okay so now is the y then axis that we are taking consideration and the same things is for z just doing for the for science okay here you go like i say i don't lie this is how this works cool 
So how do we do, how do we approach the, with the radius? It's very, very simple. So we have this subtraction. This is actually is our relative um, vector from our transform to our uh, point position. So we want to just get the length of these vectors. Length, we want to have the change range, connect to value, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, of like, uh, like we did in the previous. Uh, the end is actually our radius, so we can connect here, rename radius. Uh, pay attention when you connect, create a new one and connect, this will be zero, so you want to change one at least. And that's it, so we can connect this one now on change radius. And you, you can see, when I go closer, I activate the blend shape. So, and I can increase the radius, amazing. So this, is, if you see, is the same network. We use the length instead of dot, and we can work. We can work with the radius, and um, so you don't need to do two different uh, network. It's just this um, this point here. But what is the negative to use this approach? You don't have the scale because we are working with the position. We are not taking consideration of the scale. So let's do similar things, but with the other method. So we can see. Um, what we need now is to have the inverse. So let's create inverse matrix and we can connect inverse matrix. So now we want to have a multi matrix between our inverse matrix and our point position. Do re remember to don't connect directly like this. I can, this is actually wrong. What you want, you want to transform your vector three to vector four. And just remember, W need to be one. If it's zero, it's not going to work because you're working with a rotation, if I may. So we have a multi-matrix. And this multi-matrix is technically our subtraction. It'd be better if you want, but it's the same thing. So we can create the length. Actually, we can literally do this one. If I do it. Okay. So now it's work up to the same way, but like you see, we still have the scale. So we have the same, we can add the scale, uh, multiply with the, with the radius, so we can add this scale and this, this radius and the scale. Uh, now we want to transform, we want to add on this system even the, um, the, the dot product. Simple as that, we, get, we still have our value with the axis that we are interested in. We have our vector, we have our dot, and the only thing you have to do it, you just need to get the multiplication here, here. And now you have your base on plane. In this case, the scale doesn't do anything because uh, we are working on, uh, with let's say rotation, so, the, uh, so technically the scale doesn't do anything, so uh, no worries for that, but it works up to the same way. So, this is something I want to show you. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Then I create two different things, etc., etc. It was just to show you the two different approaches. So one is with the multi-matrix. So remember to transfer vector three to vector four, multi-matrix, and that is actually our subtraction. Instead, here the subtraction is directly from point position and our uh, uh, SRT. Um, the main differences in terms of radius is that if you want or not to use the scale. So thank you very much to see this video. Sorry again for the misunderstanding. I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.